Okay. Okay, here's something I came across on the internet. I was out looking to create a... Um, I have a few computers and I want to create a scalping desk that's dedicated to buying at the market. So, um, like this order here is a buy at the market. And instead of having in here the, um, the other two orders to buy at the market, I actually want to buy at a separate price. So as the market's going through its micro fluctuations of, say, a quarter pip, a half pip, uh, two and a half pips, you know, all that little noise, and uh, say I wanted to uh, build a position over the next uh, 20 minutes or two hours where I'm just trading at the market and I don't want to come up to my keyboard and think to myself should I go and put my mouse on that chart and try to get into this trade like it would typically either be if you had one click trading enabled here and you would buy at the market and this would be your size so you hit the hit the button and bam you're in the market and uh, you know you're um, you're in, you're in, but the problem with this one-click trading is there is no stop or take profit. You're naked in the market, so you're exposing yourself to quite a bit of risk, especially if the market's going crazy through a news, uh, a news um, event. And so, I thought, um, well, I built these scripts here to try to fix that problem where I could drag and drop or I could assign these tickets to a hotkey so all these market orders of different various exits some exit um, with with a, some have a wide stop some have a, a big target and um, so the trend trades would be say buy at the market with a 50 pip stop and a 100 pip take profit because I'm like yeah we're going up duh I'm a genius so I would buy at the market well, how to get execution on that ticket, on this script, without fumbling around and thinking, God, where can I go? And especially on these, uh, where you're going to buy uh, these pending limits. So you're going to buy, say, 10 pips deep. You're like, I know we're going up, so I'll buy one at the market, but I'll buy 10. I'll buy 1K at the market, but I'll buy at 8K, 10 pips deep. Then I'll buy a 6, 17K, 20 pips deep. So that's built into the script, but just to soothe your ego and just to get yourself feeling like, you know, at least you're slightly in the market. Maybe maybe you're going down to some awful end-of-the-world price, but in the meantime, let's take advantage of the swings that are happening. So uh, I've been trying to use different um, trade execution techniques other than the this QWERTY keyboard, this this keyboard from uh, the 1800s, and um, there's a there's a couple options. Of course, in, inside of uh, MetaTrader, the hotkey setup is set up for 72 hotkeys um, for scripts. So you have 72 scripts you could run, and I'm probably going to run 60 scripts, 64 uh, scripts. But I'm going to put it on um, each script. What I was doing before is I had control one would be by a specific script, but I could only, and then I tried putting dots on the keyboard, and then I couldn't read the letters, and I couldn't type a letter, and I thought, I'm going to blow my brains out, and I can't, I can't process all that. So uh, if you're trading, um, like guys trade on the floor, uh, you go to Chicago, they got dedicated trading terminals with dedicated buttons. So I thought, well, why not? You know, you're a trader, right? So I went and searched the internet. It took me about, sadly, it took me like 40 hours to find this stuff because uh, everything's so conventional. Most computers have the conventional keyboard. So um, I found this site here, um, someplace in uh, United States, Michigan, and um, they're making customizable um, keypads with um, Windows software and I think Linux software. Uh, and so you can pick the configuration. Now this is just a 24 keypad here. It's a little, a little steep at 130 bucks. There's other there's other things out there, but this is kind of nice because it looks pretty, and uh, it's got a little tilt up uh, situation. And they have all these different configurations. And I think the software is good because it's pretty intuitive. There's only one video on the internet 
that these guys have posted about their stuff. So not a lot of, uh, but I think this is the ultimate answer for execution. Plus the trade plan could be built into here. You could have this uh, picture of say, um, you could have anything going on here. You could have like a, a photograph of a triangle. So when you hit that, the triangle script that you built around uh, breaking out of a triangle is, is on there. So you hit that button, or that's the trade at the market button, or whatever. These up, you know, you're going to buy, it's going up, the sell, it's going down. You know, whatever um, fits your your uh, view of, of the reality. And so you can incorporate it into the trigger pad. And uh, this is no different than looking at the band like Yes. I mean, yeah, the, what Rick Wakeman's probably got about, um, I don't know, he's like probably got 500 knobs available. Well, maybe, you know, he's got, he's got global access hotkeys. Uh, every sound he needs as the as the song changes so as you go from range trading to trend trading you would have another keyboard say you go into this uh, now for me I'm thinking about this as far as uh, going into um, trading the uh, grid trade so if you have 72 scripts available on a on an MT4 platform I'd leave a couple scripts open for um, like take all profits and delete all objects but uh, you can put place your pendings to be up here and for me I'm gonna imagine the market is is um well, here let me uh, let's, so for me I'm imagining that um, this is gonna be my orders the tickets here are gonna be uh, say 15 pips uh, buy limit and this is a, uh, a 15 pip sell limit and for for range trading it so uh, these tickets up here might be uh, I'm gonna think this is gonna be the four hour column here so everything in this column is gonna be h4 and these tickets are gonna last four hours this column is gonna be my h1 scripts and here's my eight, my m30s 30 minute scripts and you know this this row here is gonna be the uh, m15 so which is tight as you can pretty much go safely uh, most brokers won't let you go to so this whole column here is going to be 15 minutes and then um, so M15 here and then uh, this is the demarcation point where anything above this line here to the north is going to be a sell limit and everything below uh, on this th these four these four buttons here is going to be the uh, these are all the sell sell orders of course so this would be a very deep uh, four hour ticket here maybe 100 pips deep maybe this is 80 pips 60 pips you know whatever you can tolerate as far as a spike so the market's marching along and it goes ba bam and you've got your tickets that the four hour guys uh, I guess you could count each column as an hour marching by so this is basically the chart so th this is the chart of the market I think this is 80 keys programmable so you could de dedicate this whole thing to grid trade. Of course, you're going to, at 80 keys, you're going to you know, run out of hotkeys on MT4, but you can pull some of these keys and make some of these keys double keys. And uh, you could put your market orders in here too, but I think I'm just going to keep this a range platform for a range strategy. And then, um, so... Uh, yeah, typically the market, like on a news day, since this is a 15-minute column, say this is 100 pips deep, so this is two, but this is uh, this is going to decay after uh, four hours. So this is an H4 script here, and this is the M15 column. And so can the market plunge 100 pips in 15 minutes? Well, it could on a news day. So on a news day, I'm going to press this button. On a creeper gear day, I'm going to press this button and maybe this button. So I got one hour at 100 pips. On a news day, I'm actually going to press all of these because I don't know how long it's going to take for them to spike it. And if they flash spike it, I want to get picked up on the tickets that would be uh, these scripts. And I could so I but I know I could actually write on here the risk amount if I wanted to. And these scripts dedicated. Of course, you could only run run one broker per computer if you wanted to keep that straight but if you're just going to be a samurai trader uh, every every broker you went to would ha have a different scaling so you would be diversifying your uh, you know say you have 10 brokers so 
any one broker that you're scalping on and the other ones are just churning away and you got you could make this a, a, a D1 column okay so but at this point when you fill this these two banks you're at 32 buttons now you could add this column and be at um, 40 buttons so I think I'm gonna go 40 button grid here let's split this in half now this here could be you still got um, what um, uh, 32 buttons left so you could start putting in say uh, well I'm gonna go for another keyboard on that but the other keyboard would be like buy at the market I mean sorry buy at the market down here sell at the market uh, buy in a limit real light um, buy in a stop breakout the breakout stuff that lasts four hours breakout breakout and these would all be breakout uh, and uh, lightly getting in on a trend so this is this whole section of the boards uh, donated to spike uh, entry scalp and then the rest of the board as you carry out into here would be okay that's my um, trend we're going that way we're biased this is the bias section so you split it in half um, so you've got uh, you know, five columns, five time frames, 40 pips deep, 40 pips deep, or not 40 pips, but 40, 40 handles of any increment you'd want to lay in there. So if you're running the broker, the other broker happens to be set up at 200 pips deep on the daily. I suppose you go to weekly, but then you would run out of your ability to go for the next, uh, we'll just make it symmetrical. So it's symmetrical at this point. So you look down and you know right down the right down the dotted line here. I think you get colored keys for this, and then this one actually has a red and blue backlit. So this could be you could trade at night on this. So at nighttime, this is lit up red. This is lit up blue. It's it's pretty cool. That's certainly worth the price. That's like 200 bucks, 200 230 bucks for that. But um, <clears throat> let me see if I can get out of that. Um, Okay. Okay, now here's another idea to integrate it into the situation. Instead of you hitting um, a specific key up there, you could be in cell mode here with a foot switch where you're hitting the um, foot switch to go into cell mode. And um, you've got the uh, buy maybe on the right, sell on the left. And then, uh, you know, just keep, you know, open your wallet for another 130 bucks. But, uh, um, yeah, I think execution like that, um, like here's the uh, 60 button board. Now on this one, actually, I think I'm wrong about this one. This one doesn't backlight, but this one, this is the original one I looked at. Now this is a, a more logical setup. You could actually, uh, this is a, a board you could have everything living on here. This is the one that actually lights up. So, uh, but this one has, comes with some of these fat keys. So this could be buy at the market or take all profits or whatever so you can get execution you could have your own personal disk platform I think this is 200 uh, bucks but then you, they actually have taken a picture here with the modification with the clear but imagine your uh, say spike trading these and spike trading that and this is all of your uh, trend or maybe this is your this looks like a like a nice buy stop sell stop zone and then maybe these are short-term tickets to buy short-term tickets to sell god knows what you could put in there but uh yeah sky's the limit there and then um you know they give you nice software with this thing that looks like it behaves stickers you know um you, know, you pull your keys and change this thing get it but that would be your trade desk you know and you have a dedicated scalping desk or just whatever but you know why kill yourself right